The Centerville Lions Club has a strong commitment to serving their community. Whether it is helping a family in need or hosting a fun, family-friendly event, the Lions are there to serve. Next weekend, upwards of 1,000 people will gather on Centerville Lake for the annual ice fishing contest hosted by the Lions. Obviously, it's about catching fish, and, you know, we have prizes for that, but it's most important to the Lions that we keep this fun and a family event so kids can come out and experience fishing. Um, we've got food and, you know, prizes. We have airplane rides sponsored by the Young Eagles of America. This year, though, the event will have a different feel. Nancy's husband, Lynn, who ran the event for the last decade, died suddenly last April. The contest has been renamed in his honor, and the Lions Club has banded together to put on an event that they hope would make Lynn proud. The club together has brought this again as a team in honor of Lynn. So, you know, we, we've kind of gotten real close, and we do it in Lynn's memory, you know, hopefully we can live up to his standards or big shoes to fill, but as a club, it just means a lot to all of us. And I, I'm very proud of what Lynn did, you know. Um, his children can always look at his life and know that when he did something, he did it with all of his heart. Nancy knows that emotions will be running high during the event, but is excited to see this part of Lynn's life live on. It's going to be pretty tough. Um, we have had our ups and downs over a lot of our events and holidays over the last year, and um, we're going to be proud. We're, we're really proud, and, you know, we're hosting a lot of friends and family that are coming in for this celebration, and we'll miss him, and we'll look back and realize the legacy that he left. But I think most of all, we're going to be really proud of who he was and that, you know, he was our family. Lynn was named Lion of the Year seven times and received two Distinguished Service Awards. Lynn most definitely served his community and his Lions. Lynn immersed himself into the Lions, and being the type of person he was, anything he did, he wanted to do at his very best. And the Lions Club have a huge history in doing things, and we keep pictures and all of those things, and every member is as important as Lion Lynn was. He, he will always be part of the community now with the benches named in his honor and dedicated to Lynn. He's, he'll be part of Centerville forever now. Nancy hopes that sharing Lynn's story will help attract more people to the Lions Club. The Centerville Lions currently have about 20 members, but with more members, they could serve more people. Our mission is to serve people within our community and surrounding communities who need help. You know, we give... Um, thousands of dollars every year to the local school and church and families in need who may not be able to um, buy that Christmas dinner or Easter or Thanksgiving dinner. So we give out gift cards every year um, to people in need. If somebody has an illness in their family or a death in their family or heaven forbid, you know, their houses burned down, any kind of tragedy or simple help even that we can give, that's what the Lions are for. We're here to serve, and um, we can only do that with the help of our communities and members joining the Lions. With the Lions, you are able to serve right in your own community, and the commitment is designed to be flexible. It doesn't have to be your whole life. You know, Lions are a community organization that you volunteer and serve, but we also understand that you have family needs, you know, um, your church, your family, things like that take precedence over the club itself. Right. We want people to join and help and be part of us when they can. We don't expect anybody to drop all of your, you know, your, your social life or your family life. Just try and fit us in when you can. If you are looking for a way to serve your neighbors, the Lions might be the perfect fit. It certainly was for Lynn. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.